Ever since the first flyer lifted a man into the air, the dream has been to build bigger and bigger aircraft. This is the latest, the C-5 Galaxy, big enough to carry two helicopters, six coaches, or 100 cars. Its cargo hold is longer than the length of the Wright brothers' first flight. It is truly a giant of the air. Throughout aviation's lifetime, aircraft have been used as beasts of burden. The military especially have always needed a flying truck. Today, this is the workhorse of the skies. The C-130, the ubiquitous Hercules, flown by almost every air force in the Western world. It'll do anything you ask it to do. It's a forgiving aeroplane. From a pilot's point of view, it handles remarkably well. You have an empathy with the machine. I've flown it now for nearly 5,000 hours, and I can't think of anything else that I'd prefer to fly. It just fits around you as though you're part of it. It's nicknamed the Fat Albert, certainly in the RAF, and I think all over the world. The Hercules and its type of aircraft allow an air force to move men and machinery relatively quickly to anywhere in the world, which gives the Air Force and the Army commanders a flexibility which not many aeroplanes can offer them. In war, the C-130 has proved itself a tough and reliable friend. In 1968, in Vietnam, nearly 100 C-130s flew in supplies to a force of US Marines cut off and besieged in Khe San by the North Vietnamese Army. For 77 days, the Hercules was Khe San's lifeline. In peace too, the C-130 has shown its mettle. In the Ethiopian famine, thousands of families were dying of starvation. They needed food desperately and they needed it at once. Initially, our mission in Ethiopia was to move grain from the port of Asab to the two airstrips at Michaeli and Aksum. We later expanded that to use the aircraft to its, its most capable, uh, which was in the airdrop role, and to reach the people that possibly needed the food more than anybody else who were stuck way out in the highlands. The terrain is quite unbelievable. You're talking about the Grand Canyon on a fantastic scale. Highlands up to 10,000 feet that simply can't be reached by any other form of transport. Certainly not in the time that we could do it. We could do a three quarter of an hour flight with 20 tons of grain on board. That the same journey would take a lorry two weeks. 